Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNonPhoto.com and in today's short video, I'm just going to be showing you how to create or make slow motion video in Adobe's Premiere Pro CC. So I've already imported my clips. I've got three clips we're going to be working on here. Um, one of a uh, gas hob uh, springing into light, like so. One of a some people with some birds flying down towards them and one with some people, well, walking through some people. Now, whenever you want to do slow-mo video, uh, say on a DSLR, if you go into the video settings, uh, you'll probably find it'll shoot normal sort of um, 1080p at 24 frames uh, a second or 25 frames a second or 30 frames a second. And then it'll probably also do a 50 or a 60 frames per second option as well, maybe even higher. And that's what you want to go for when you uh, want to shoot slow motion. And what can be a little bit confusing sometimes is you, you'll shoot at 60 frames a second or 50 frames a second, but when you play it back, it plays back at normal speed. Everything just looks a little bit jerkier sometimes at that sort of speed. But the reason why you do it at 60 frames a second or 50 frames a second is so that when you slow it down to half speed or third speed, you've still got the same number of frames. So you've still got the same number of de same amount of detail there. Um, without it getting jerky and that's what I've done with these three clips they were all shot on my Canon 600D T3i at and I'm gonna get this wrong but I think it's 50 frames a second or it might be um, oh or is it no I'm checking I'm checking now let's have a look uh, let's go into the menu 50 frames a second it is because I knew that I was going to want to slow them down to sort of half or whatever speed so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the speeds on these and then you're going to be able to see in the video, you know, what that kind of looks like. So this is normal speed. Now, if you're wondering what the black bars are around this, um, my standard template for doing videos on Adobe Premiere is 1080p. And on most cameras, when you move up to 50 or 60 frames a second, it will drop down to, um, is it 780 or 720p? Um, but don't worry, we can. I'll show you how to make that bigger. Now, the first thing I want to do actually is cut some of this off because obviously, as soon as you go to slow mo, the, the clip gets if you do it half speed, gets twice as long. So, you don't want all the boring bits. So, let me just move the head to the point where the gas comes on. That's where it comes on. Take it back a little bit. Press C to get my razor tool up. Let's cut that off. V to get my pointer tool back. Select it, delete on the keyboard. Let's just double check that that's at the right point. That's fine. Now you don't want to be sitting there looking at gas radius. So C again, bring up my razor. Just going to chop it off there. V to bring up my pointer. Select it, delete. So there we've got my little clip. So let's just have a look at normal speed. Fairly boring, isn't it? But let's slow it down. So that's all we do is select it, right click, speed duration, and tell you what, you see here it says speed 100%. I'm going to take that down to a third so 33 percent of the speed you'll also notice on the left hand side i've muted the audio so obviously the audio was like going, so you might want to replace the, that with some background music sometimes it'd be quite effective so let's have a look see what that looks like there we go so you could get a good idea of the flame coming on and burning away okay so we've done that to a third speed let's go and have a look at the next clip so what have we got here in fact, let's go to the last clip first, which is the people walking along. Sorry, me walking through the people. There we go. So we just want to take this down to a third speed. So select it, right click, speed, 50%. Okay, the clip gets longer. Just see what it looks like. So it should look nice, smooth, slow-mo of walking through some people. And then let's go back to this clip, which is the birds, the people and the birds down at HMS Warrior. That's at normal speed, but we're going to slow this down to speed durations, to slow, slow it down to a third. Now obviously I'm pushing it at a third because I've only really got the frame rate for a half, but it should look quite effective. There we go, so that's at a third speed. 
So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to scale these up so I can select them, come up to the left, say, oh, let's just look at it first, move the head, uh, select that. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Here we go. So I brought up, uh, what did I do there? I just double clicked on the thing, shut that down, and then I've got effect control. So that's what I want. I've got effect control, motion, and all I do is where it says scale, drag that across until it fills the frame, which is there, which is 150%. That's good. So that should look a lot better now when I play it. Remember the mood? Oh, wow, there we go. Hey, <laughs> that looks good, doesn't it? And then let's go to this one. Motion, change that to 150. So it fills it up. This one. Motion, 150. So that's all. F oh, actually, no, that's not right, is it? Let's just go back in the history. I didn't, that one was slightly bigger, wasn't it? So let's just scale this one up manually by dragging to the right. Oh yeah, it was, yeah, it was 150. It was just me being a bit silly. So now I've got my three clips, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide that one into there, put a little transition in, and then what I would be doing next is adding um, a background uh, music and just sliding them all together. Um, but what you're going to see next is the other two clips after this and um, hopefully this tutorial has shown you how easy it is to do slow motion video in Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro CC. My name's Rob from RobLoneFoto.com. If you like the videos, please subscribe, uh, put some comments down below and you can email me scalespeed.gmail.com and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.